Hey, this is Jeff, and in this video, I will show you how to create this kick-ass Batman logo using PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint is an extremely versatile tool. Uh, I use it for a lot of media production, uh, and I also use it to create this kind of logos. I did a Superman logo, Green Lantern logo, Wonder Woman logo, and I printed those on shirts. Because uh, the cool thing is, if I do this in PowerPoint, uh, and I don't have Adobe Illustrator, um, I can create a, a scalable image, uh, super high resolution, and that works extremely well. So this is the end product. Uh, I started out with this uh, small Batman logo I grabbed off the internet. So let's zoom in on that one. There we go. Um, and basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to trace this using the PowerPoint shape tool. Now this is probably one of the shape tools that nobody ever used, the free form shape. So I'm going to click that and then I just start adding points. And for those of you who know uh, Illustrator or Power, uh, Photoshop for that matter, you can just click that and I'm going to create a, a sort of path around the image. And I'm just going to go for all the points because I can just uh, make curves later on. So I'm just clicking all the reference points here. So this is a really super simple uh, activity. Clicking them, selecting all the points. There we go. I'm just going to eyeball it for this one. So there we go, somewhat like this. I can I can move them around afterwards if I feel that I haven't done it properly. There we go. And now the shape closes and, and it fills automatically. So now what I'm going to do is select the shape, uh, right-click it, go to Format Shape, and give it some uh, transparency, like 50%. So I can look through it, close this, and then I'm going to right click it again and I'm going to say edit points. And what I can do now is right click or just select one of these points and you can see these two anchors appearing, right? And I can drag these uh, and I can just do that on both ends and create the curve that I need. And I can pull them out a little bit uh, just to make sure that they look really nice and snug and I'm going to do the same thing here and basically I'm going to create this logo real time as you can see it's, it's something I can do pretty fast uh, just clicking the anchor points and making those edits and curving these lines so it's really simple so creating this Batman logo is uh, it's not that much work here we go, pulling it up a little bit more. And the cool thing with the transparency is that you can really see what you're doing, right? It makes it really easy. Whoops, moved it, Control Z. Right click it again, edit points. So it doesn't matter, I make these mistakes all the time and again, edit points because I click next to the image and just start over there we go it looks pretty nice we're almost there as you can see uh, it's just a matter of uh, minutes to really make this happen I'm not really happy where this point is and as you can see I can just hold my mouse key and just drag it so can I I can reposition it in a in a slightly better spot. There we go. I'm happy with this. Let's delete this one. Go back to the regular size. Line this up in the center. Hold Ctrl and Shift. Resize to be nice and big. Oops, a little too big. There we go. Shape fill. Oh, obviously, I need to reset the transparency to zero. There we go. I either ditch the outline completely or uh, add a nice thin yellow outline. So that's it. That's how you create uh, your own illustrations using the uh, freeform shape tool in PowerPoint.